What's up there crew, Matt Masalo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to customize baseball cleats like these trouts right here. We're going to use some pretty unique material, a ColorSpark Flash Reflective Heat Transfer Vinyl. I'm going to show you how to cut it, how to weed it, how to press it to these shoes without getting pressing marks and make some awesome looking shoes like this that you can make huge margins on for a very minimal amount of material cost and labor cost. So let's get into it and show you how awesome these cleats are going to look. Alright, so the supplies I'm going to use to customize these trout cleats right here is my Color Spark Flash Reflective Silver. I have my magic pen weeding tool here, obviously a pair of scissors, some of our magic heat tape. I'm going to use the little Cricut mini press and the cutter I'm going to use is the Graph Tech cutter. And then the software is the TRW Design Wizard and Corel Draw to get everything measured and cut for these cleats. So let's get into it. Alright, so one of the first things we need to do is we need to find out the size that we need to cut our material at. So on the back is where we're going to put our custom number 20 here. So I'm just going to grab my tape measure. Let's measure this out. We have about an inch in height to work with. So I'm going to go about a point, 0.65 to 0.75 inches tall for the custom number there. And then on the side here, we're going to do it probably on this outside area right here. We're going to do sting on one and then we're going to do select on the other. That way we have custom team name on the outside of these shoes as well. That's going to look pretty sick. So let's get over the software. Let's create the design and the font real quick with the sizing. But our sizing on the name right here again is going to be probably about an inch wide. So whatever the height is on the font that we're working. So let's go get it designed. All right, so we're over here in the software. I'm going to use the font, the Orbitron Black. It's a cool font you can get on googlefonts.com. And then my custom number, I'm going to have it about 0.65 inches tall to fit that area. Now the sting and the select, I do want to make this smaller. I don't want it to be overwhelming on the shirt. So I'm going to go probably about a quarter inch tall, super small. Now I do want to have a little bit of an italic look. So I'm actually adding a little envelope to it right here and kind of dragging it. So it has a little cooler look to it. And now I'm going to come down here, change this to select. Now I have my sting and my select. I'm going to obviously cut both of these and shrink it down a little bit more so it's right at about that one quarter of an inch. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get our silver flash reflective loaded into our vinyl cutter here. Now this is a really unique material because when the light hits it at night, it's going to look like it's glowing in the dark. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to get it lined up with our pinch rollers here. Once we're feeling confident with that, we can lock that down, hit one for front edge. It's going to bring the material to the front right here. And now we're ready to cut. Now we just need to get this ready for the vinyl cutter. So I'm going to move this over. I'm going to do my right click on my templates. It's going to actually automatically mirror it, put the weed box around it. I have a setting of 16, speed of 10, and let's send it. All right, so you can see the machine cutting here. I did a force of 16, speed of 10. I slowed it down a little bit because of the really small cuts. Now, with the flash reflective material, it does have a sticky carrier sheet, which does make it much easier to weed for these small areas. But you still want to be careful when weeding it out just to make sure you don't miss any of those little small spots. So once we get this finished weeding, we're going to turn on the heat press here and get ready to press these. All right, we're going to turn our Cricut Easy Press on to a setting of two. That should get us to about 300 degrees, which will be good for our material, which is recommended at about a 305. But we'll just press it for a couple extra seconds, maybe 10 seconds instead of the typical eight. Now, when it comes to pressing these on the shoes, we want to use this magic tape. This is our green thermal tape that we have available on the website. Now, I'm going to place the custom number 20 here perfectly so it holds it in place. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lot more tape to it. So all of this extra tape that I'm adding to it is just going to protect the shoe from the actual press. So it doesn't leave marks and different things on it. Now, when I go to press this, what I'm going to do is you'll see I'm just going to roll the press on it. And it's going to be a 
full time of about eight to 10 seconds. And then you wanna make sure it cools down. So that's what I'm doing here. And then when you peel it off, just slowly peel it off to make sure everything's good. And you got a custom number 20. How awesome does that look? All right, so now we're gonna work on the side of the shoe. I'm gonna go through the same process as far as the extra magic tape or thermal tape. So using some extra layers here of the thermal tape to protect the side of the shoe. When I'm pressing it, once I have my tape, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up align it right along with that Nike symbol on the side of the shoe right here. Once I have it aligned nice, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of seal this tape up against the shoe, grab my press, and again, I'm gonna press for probably about eight to 10 seconds, just kind of moving around in different areas, making sure the actual platen of the press is not getting directly onto the shoe. So once I feel like I got a good amount of the press, I'm gonna let it cool down again. I'm gonna slowly peel this off just to make sure none of the material is starting to come up. So I'm letting it cool a little bit longer here. Let's go ahead and pull this up and then I'll start to see if the material stays back, which is perfect. So I'm seeing this looks good here. Let's just go ahead and keep peeling this back and we're looking good to go. So let's pull off the rest of the tape and we have our side shoe right here done of the sting. So let's move on to the other one and let's do the select. So let's go ahead and grab the other shoe and knock this out. Trimming the edge again. Again, with my magic heat tape, I'm gonna add probably five to six layers of the tape just to make it thicker so the actual press doesn't affect the shoe. Once we get this pulled up off of my workstation here, we're gonna go ahead and get it all lined up onto our shoe. So left side here, I can see through the heat tape, which makes it really nice to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. And let's go ahead and press this again, around eight to 10 seconds, making sure that the heating element on this heat press isn't touching the shoe directly. It's just on that actual tape. Once we let this cool down a little bit, you can see I'm just kind of going over to kind of pull the heat out of it a little bit there and then slowly pull your tape up to make sure everything's staying back, and boom, there we go. Look at how perfect that looks. Now let me show you some pretty cool pictures and videos of what these shoes look like with the lights on and the lights off. All right, well that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to customize cleats like this right here. You can see the Color Spark Flash Reflective Number 20 on the back, we got the Sting, we got the Select. Doesn't get much better than that when the light hits these things. Oh my goodness, they look crazy at night. I'll give you a little example right here, but check that out. When the lights are on, when the lights are off, the difference, but when it's dark outside, it is insane. So again, something like this, custom, just with wording and letters, we would probably charge $20. Again, we might have 15 to 30 cents in actual material cost, $20 for the custom team name and the number, $10 for just the custom numbers. Hey, margins are freaking ridiculous. So hopefully the video helped you out. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and that like button if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.